Well, hi guys, Pastor Al here today. Good to see you. You know, I was going to wear my Dodger cap for you today because the Dodgers are my favorite team and they're the World Series champs. But when I do that, it sometimes makes the autofocus on my camera go kind of crazy. So we're just going to forego that. Hey, you know, um, Halloween is coming and gone, which means the next thing you're going to think about is Thanksgiving, right? Well, maybe, but I'll bet you're already thinking about Christmas. I kind of hate it to think about Christmas too early, but that's what we're going to talk about today. Just a little bit and a little bit early. But first, I want to show you someone who well, really, really, really likes Christmas presents, probably more than they should. Here's just a little video about it. When toys started disappearing from a police donation drive, officers had no suspects until they caught the culprit, Red Pod. Franklin Police Department in Massachusetts has been collecting donated toys for the holidays, but after a few toys went missing, they quickly realized it was an inside job. Ben Franklin is a therapy dog for the department. He tried to evade officers and led them on a chase to his hideout. Ben will not face any charges, but he is now banned from the toy room. Now, it's kind of hard to blame a dog for having a love of Christmas presents. We all like Christmas presents, too. But you know what? Sometimes I think we think Christmas is all about presents. Uh, presents for us, at least. I mean, imagine this. Think This seems really silly, but imagine you invited a whole bunch of friends to a birthday party. And when your friends showed up, you noticed they were all carrying a bunch of presents. And you got really excited, and someone said, okay, it's now time to open presents. And well, everybody sat down, and what you discovered was that all the kids who came to your party brought presents for themselves. And they opened those presents up to give to themselves. And they didn't think about bringing anything for you. You'd kind of be bummed out, right? And, and reasonably so. You know, you think about it, in some ways, if we're not careful... That's what we can wind up doing at Christmas. I mean, whose birthday is it, right? This is Jesus' birthday party. And yet, who gets the presents? Us, right? Now, you know what? Jesus was God's greatest gift to us. And being able to give each other presents is a wonderful reflection of that gift that God gave to us. And so there's nothing wrong with getting a gift at Christmas or giving gifts at Christmas. The problem is, is when, well... Sometimes Christmas becomes not just about gifts, but about a lot of gifts. Um, I know you probably think, like, I'm as old as time. I'm 62 years old. My mom was kind of old when we had kids. She lived a long time ago. But she would tell me, because she grew up in a very poor family, that at Christmas, what they got each for Christmas, each one of the kids, was a bottle of 7-Up and an orange. And actually... They were really happy and excited about that because those weren't normal things for them. When I grew up, when we came to Christmas, we basically got one gift for each kid. They were nice gifts. We were happy with it. You know, we might get some socks and underwear too, but, uh, you know, we didn't have what I saw in pictures, which was a Christmas tree with big, huge, huge, huge piles of gifts under the tree. And well, I sometimes thought that was kind of normal, and I wondered what was wrong with us. And, well, you know what's happened now is that's kind of become the normal. In fact, I have to admit, sometimes that's what my house looks like at Christmas. Piles and piles of gifts. And ultimately, when Christmas is all over, sometimes adults will ask you, did you have a good Christmas? And you know what that question really kind of means was, did you like the gifts we gave you? And, and so we as adults set you up to think that Christmas is just about gifts. And, and that's our mistake. Because Christmas ought to be a lot a lot more. First, it ought to be about Jesus and his birth and God's most wonderful, incredible, great gift to us, but also about being with family that you love and gathering together and celebrating and worshiping and so many more things that in the long run are more important than gifts. I'll bet for a lot of you, this is going to be a different Christmas. For some of you whose families have had a hard time in the last six months, there may not be as many gifts around the tree this year. For some of you who are used to getting together with family, uh, particularly the older grandmas and grandpas, they may not feel that they can come out now, and you may not have the family gatherings. You know what? It's going to be okay. Because whether we have a lot of gifts or not, whether we can have a big meal or not, whether we get together with all the people we're used to getting together with, it's still going to be Jesus' birthday. And we just need to make sure that 
we're not so focused on all the other stuff that we forget whose birthday it really is. So even right now, start thinking to yourself, you know what? This Christmas might be a little different, and that's going to be okay. Because we're still going to have the most important part of Christmas there, just like it is every year. We're going to be able to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, who came to earth in, in the form of a baby, who lived and grew up just like we did, who was a kid just like we are, uh, who grew up and lived a perfect life, who died on the cross for us, who rose again from the grave to show us that God's power is able to overcome everything and to promise us that one day we will be with him because he loves us so much. That's what Christmas is all about. And if you had all the toys in the world and you didn't have that, Christmas would be pretty lousy. So start thinking now about the fact that Christmas might be a little bit different, and that's going to be okay, because Jesus doesn't change. Kids, it's been nice to spend a little time with you. God bless you, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.